Hi, welcome to another video tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to export multiple channels at the same time using Cubase's built in batch export tools. So, by channel, I'm talking about audio tracks, uh, instrument tracks, and instrument channels, FX channels, and uh, group tracks. If you're using the VST instrument rack, you'll be able to add instruments. And when you do that, you can choose a number of outputs for the instrument and all the instruments you have loaded appear here and those are the names of all the channels. I've renamed these to make it easier for me to know what's going on. Just double click them, rename it like you would any other track. So those are the channels. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is add, um, I'm going to do this demonstration with instrument tracks. So if I add three instrument tracks and I'll just use one of the built-in synthesizers. And we'll leave them as they are for this demonstration. And once again with this one. And then what we do is we put the locators around the tracks we want to export so we get the full length of them in and to do that I'll just highlight them press P you can do it manually by dragging this up here and the only problem with this is that all the tracks will be the same length so if you wanted to record those tracks at that length and then that one at that length you'd have to do that separately there may be a way to automate that I don't know and then bring up the export options just go to file export audio mix down I have a shortcut key to E which you can do in the key commands and you can also set up a naming scheme which will um, add a name automatically to each channel you export and then we check this box here because at the moment we've got stereo out selected which will just take the output whatever goes out your speakers is what you'll record and you could uncheck you can uncheck that and check an individual channel but what we want to do is do a batch export and select multiple channels now we don't want the stereo out because that record everything at once we don't want the group channels we don't want the FX channels we do want the instrument tracks these are the three we've just created and if we were using the BST instrument channels from the MIDI rack then we'd have these ones as well And there's an audio channel, which is how you can hear my voice, but we don't want that. So, so just those three. And then make sure all our settings are correct here, whatever formats we want. And I'll import them back into the project as an audio track so we can see the result. And now we'll export. And there we go. Now we've got the three tracks. And now I'll just play back the audio file that we've just recorded and then I'll play back the MIDI track just for one of them. And the important thing to remember is that you set the locators around the uh, data you want to record and that you make sure the export settings are the same as the project settings, so the bit depth and the um, sample rate.
Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Thank you for your time. And I hope this has been useful to you. If you have the time, please check out my company website, www.totalcomposure.com. Our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Total Composure. And click the like button and become a fan if you go there. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.